Hey everybody, I'd like to tell you a story on how I found out I was pregnant with my son five years ago, my first child. So a little backstory is that I got a severe concussion in high school playing um, volleyball. So I struggled with ongoing issues from that concussion for quite a while. So now fast forward, it was a summer day and I went with my best friend and her family to Canopy Lake Park. Typically, I always love riding rides, so we decided to go on the Star Blaster. We waited in line for almost an hour, and once we finally got on the ride, with the seats started to go down, and I just started not to feel well. Everything came on like really fast. My ears started buzzing, my eyes started getting funky. So once the seats actually locked, I like really was not feeling well, and I just didn't know what would happen if I went up on the Star Blaster. So I started tapping my friend and she said I did not look good and I wasn't um, really speaking much at that moment. So she started panicking, just saying I didn't look well, I wasn't acting right. So she actually started yelling for the ride people to stop the ride. So sure enough, they stopped the ride, we got off the ride. And I'm not gonna lie, I felt a little embarrassed because one, everyone was around probably like, oh my God, she chickened out, she can't go on the ride and so on. So after ex exiting the ride, I went and got some water, but I just still wasn't feeling right. And again, I still felt so weird from not going on. So sure enough, I called my mom and I thought I was just having another episode with my head, but it was so severe that she brought me to the hospital. So after arriving to the hospital, they ran some tests. Um, and then finally I was admitted to a room just with everything going on. And a few hours later, the doctor comes in and asked if she could speak to me in front of my mother, if it was okay if my mom was in the room. I didn't care because I didn't think really anything of it. Um, well, then the doctor decided to say, we can't do any further testing because you actually are pregnant. So talk about jaw dropping to the both of us. I was not expecting that. Um, I was with my boyfriend at the time for almost five years. So it wasn't like, oh my God, but it was, oh my God. <laughs> So the hospital did a little further testing regarding my pregnancy and told me I was about five to six weeks pregnant um, based on my levels and basically to follow up with my PCP. So that was a Friday evening at that point. And then come that following Monday, I called my doctor, told her the story, told her what the hospital told me. She said, okay, we'll see you in about a week and we'll do further testing. So that appointment comes and we go in expecting to only be five or six weeks pregnant. And now I'm doing the math and I'm like, oh, I have time. Like, at least I could ease into the whole pregnancy thing. Well, that appointment, she ran some testing and I was actually three and a half months pregnant. My first doctor's appointment, I could have found out the gender. I didn't. It was just a whirlwind of emotions, very overwhelming. There was just so much going on. I couldn't fathom that I didn't know I was pregnant, went from five to six weeks and now three and a half months. And do you want to know the gender of your baby? So talk about, I, I don't even know. I, I'm still speechless thinking of the story sometimes, but that is the story of how I found out I was pregnant with my son. He was a boy. It was a healthy pregnancy. I did find out I was three and a half months pregnant, got a due date of January 27th and actually delivered him December 30th. So talk about world's shortest pregnancy because this all happened so fast and the pregnancy started and seemed like it ended from the time I knew and he was here. But yeah. <laughs>